Woohoo! <laughs>Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Cal and uh, we're making a quick video here. What I want to do today is show you the software that is uh, related to the, the new glorious Odin mouse. I know some people aren't fully aware as to uh, what it really looks like and how it, you know, how it operates. Um, and those that are that haven't yet bought the mouse, if, kinda, if you're kind of curious to see how it, how it kind of works, this video will help you uh, kind of identify as to what is really going on with the software. So. Um, if we tune over here, as you can see here, we got the whole glorious PC gaming race, and it shows the whole mouse. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the different mouse buttons on the left hand side, and they just pair up with the mouse, you know. Um, and so you can change, like, if you really didn't want your left button to be left click, then you can change it, which is very odd. I don't know why you'd do that, but maybe some of you guys would know. If you do, let, let me know down below. Um, <clears throat> but so you can change as to what, uh, these guys do. Like, for example, if you're playing Fortnite and you're trying to get like, uh, one of these side buttons to be building a stair or something, you can change it. You can make it, uh, to either a character on the, on the, on the actual keyboard. Like for example, if you wanted, uh, this little button to be build your ramp, you could literally map this button to the side of your mouse and then you can use that as to build up. It's pretty cool. Or you could just leave your keybinds the way they are and just say, hey, four is going to be whatever I use for that particular, um, you know, ramp to be built. And also, what we do have is different items on the right-hand side. So we got DPI setting. These colors are going to be pertaining to uh, what's on the bottom of the actual mouse. Uh, as you can see, it's blue right now, so we're sitting at 800 DPI. Um, and you can change that. You can change the colors of these. So, like, for example, if I made that white, this will be white on the bottom. I'll hit OK, I'll hit Apply, and then boom, it is now white, as you can see right there. Um, but I want it to go back to blue, so we're gonna, I think it was all the way down at the bottom probably. Boom, now we're blue again. You can't really tell, because the light is very, I don't know, it doesn't really pick it up, the different shades of blue, but it's blue, it's dark blue. Moving on to lighting, what you could do you can have a single color, so the whole mouse is going to be just one single color as it is now. It's like a light blue. I think it looks pretty cool with the white with the white um, mouse. Um, but you can do glorious mode, which is actually what the mouse the mouse comes with by default. Um, if we'll hit it, we'll hit apply, and it's just going to basically cycle through all of the different colors of the mouse. And you can change the speed. Like I can bump that up to three. So now that thing is just like it's just sending it, dude. All those colors is like going crazy um i'd rather have it at one but then next we get uh we get the seamless breathing rgb we'll hit apply and i gotta sneeze but it's just gonna be um kind of cycling through the colors very slowly again you can pick the speed on here right now this is at a two if we go down to a one it's gonna be even slower um which is pretty good i like it it's a nice uh it's a nice transitional, you know, look to it. But let's break on down to the next one. It's going to be breathing. Um, so we can actually pick the colors that you do want. As of right now, we got red, blue, green, purple, yellow, uh, kind of like a, I don't even know what that is, light pink, and then we have a hot pink. We hit OK, and it's just going to be breathing into all of those colors, as you can tell. Like, next is going to be green. Yep. And then next is going to be the purple. Bunk. And again, you can pick the speeds, the speeds that you want for it. Um, let's go into the next one. Oh, the next one's actually going to be single color, which I already showed you. Breathing single color. So I could pick one particular color, and it's just going to keep like bouncing in and out, basically. Um, kind of an odd item to pick. Then we get the tail. And we can actually change the brightness of the tail. So it's just going to kind of flash through all the different colors. Um, we can change the speed. If I put the brightness very, very low... You can see how it's like, it's not too, too bright. It's not too, too noticeable. We'll crank that sucker up to 100% and hit apply. And then boom, you can actually see it now. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Cool. And then we got rave. So we got we can pick two colors on the rave um, scheme here. We got red and blue. And it's just going to be flashing between those two different colors. On and off. You can change the speed and the brightness as well. Um, and they have another effect called the wave. 
And the wave is actually really nice. It just kind of goes through all the different colors, as you can tell there. This probably isn't the best uh, best way to be showing you, but hey, it's the best I can do. <laughs> I don't have another method, I guess, at, the, at this current moment. And what's actually nice is you can turn the whole LED off. You can change it off. Obviously, this bottom one's going to be the staying the same because that's your DPI. When you hit the DPI button right here, that's going to be changing, which is very handy. You can It's a visual reference to be like, oh, what am I on? Boom, 400 or 800. But yeah, you can turn the, the, the LED off completely. I like the single color. Again, you can change the brightness on here as well. So it's like a nice lull uh, or dim blue. Then we can just crank that thing to make it match the keyboard more. Um, and then we got mouse parameter. I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest. I haven't done anything with that. You can change the polling rate and then the debounce time. Um, it says, warning, this is an advanced feature, advanced user feature. Please see, read me before editing this value. So, for, fair warning. Make sure you read it. I haven't read it. I don't really have any uh, intentions to. Um, what also is cool is you can have different profiles. So let's say you play different games and you want different mouse bindings to these different buttons on the mouse. You can kind of cycle through different profiles, um, which will change like the one to six, which is very nice, very handy. Um, I'm assuming you can add more as well. Yeah, you can even, you can add more. You can rename them. You can import them and export them. That way, if you're going from machine to machine, you have the ability to uh, bring your settings with you and edit it. But yeah, guys, just giving you a little videos to show what you can actually do with this mouse and with the software that is provided. It's free. You get their website, PC Gaming Race. Um, and also, they allow you to update the firmware for the particular mouse. So right now, what we're doing, we're actually on their website, PCGamingRace.com. And all you got to do is navigate down to the More section, Downloads. And then you got to just go click on Glorious Model O Download Page. And here's where you're going to find uh, the firmware update and the software. So click here, download it, run the executables, you're good to go. Um, and then you're going to find uh, your mouse software. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was nice and quick. It wasn't too, too crazy. Um, but uh, the software is pretty easy to figure out. There's nothing really too, uh, too wild about it. So far, I'm, I'm really liking this mouse, to be honest. I have barely even touched the final mouse. I'll play like one game with it and then I'll switch back to this one just because I'm pretty used to this one. And I like how the plastic doesn't feel worn out as this other one does. Um, this one's pretty like slippery at this point in time. But yeah, still, I'm really liking this mouse. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It's half the price of a final mouse. It weighs less, if not the same. You know, there's really no difference <laughs> that you can really feel. Um, it's slightly smaller. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but... Uh, I know some of the some of the individuals they do like the smaller mice. If it, it's a good mouse, it's a good mouse for sure. Fifty dollars, you cannot go wrong. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, I would love for you to guys to subscribe, come join the fam. Also, we're live over on Twitch.tv/slash Calhoun pretty often. Usually Monday to Wednesday, guaranteed nights, and then uh, on the weekends I try to get uh, a Saturday and a Sunday stream in. Since it's summertime now, it's a little bit harder to get those in, you know, every single weekend. But uh, I'm doing what I can. It's Sunday right now, and I, we just got off a nice stream today. So you guys missed out. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this new mouse, if you do have it. Also, what color did you get? I got the white matte version, and I'm loving it so far. A lot of you guys have come through and said, hey, man, I found you through the, through the mouse video. I got this one. I love it. So I haven't heard a single negative thing regarding to this mouse yet so that's always positive and reassuring but anyways dudes take it easy thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video